Okay. The selected model. You can place the model with a symbol. It's called SLM underscore noise in LT spice. If you use LT spice, but you can only use slide cap symbols if you want to make a slide cap simulation. Uh, LT spice is only used as schematic capture tool. So don't try to simulate any slide cap thing with uh, LT spice or an LT spice circuit with slide cap. That doesn't work. It's not intended to be so. And the sub-circuit that you connect to this symbol, what, there's only one sub-circuit available. No, there are more sub-circuits available at the moment, but uh, this, this for us is relevant because there is also a junction fed uh, model available that you can use with the same sub-circuit. Um, but here we have this sub-circuit and that is NM80, the NMOS in the uh, 180 nanometer process. Uh, noise model. It has all the parameters of the 180 nanometer process in it. And it's for the for the end device. There's also a PM, uh, uh, PM18 uh, for the noise source of a PFET. So this is the noise source. And the parameters that you can give is the drain current, the gate current, the width, and the length, because they are more or less completely determining the noise behavior of the FET. The thing you can you can find the model in slicecap.lib and you have to include it on your uh, simulation uh, on your schematic page, otherwise it doesn't know where to find the model. And this is inside and this is, well, it's a little bit more complicated maybe than this, but this is the principle of how it is inside. We generate here ID the noise current. This is related with the inversion coefficient uh, and the drain current to, let's say, the parameters that you enter here, like ID, W, and L. So we calculate the drain current noise as the intrinsic noise source there. And then we do the transformation. The transformation is the drain current is multiplied with D times ID into a current source. That is what you see, the current source the, the, uh, in parallel with the input. And it is translated into B times ID, a voltage source in series with the input. So now, because they both originate from one source, both sources are correlated. And then we have, of course, the gate current leakage source, and that is IG. Uh, but in many cases, you just enter IG equals zero, and then it will uh, it will be there, but it will be zero. So you won't find it in your vectors or matrices. So we use EQV model parameters for the saturation region. So it's not valid in the linear region, but it is valid for weak inversion, uh, moderate inversion, and strong inversion, and velocity saturation. That is good. That is all modeled. And here is the whole model. You don't have to uh, learn this, to look at this or whatever. It's just, you know, for the sake of completeness that I show you, the, the upper lines are uh, the, the sub-circuit lines and you see the dot param definition which gives you the parameters of the, the, the model equations basically behind all this. But the model equations are more or less what I presented you in the previous sheet. So this is the slide cap noise model as it is as you can use it later on for the design. 